walk away from this with some knowledge of, of that you don't have to seek out extra help, that you can handle some things on your own and that you have the power to do certain things. And I've got volume one um, and two listed videos here on the page. Just scroll down. If you, if you've missed them, go grab them, go watch them. Um, and I have the free webinar with the link is listed above. Just follow that link and you get an entire webinar that I've created for you to help you clear your personal energy field. And like I said, this is demystifying that process for you so that you can move forward and not feel intimidated. And I want to open the door. So I'm not going to get like crazy, crazy detailed, but I'm going to give you enough so that you can go forward from here and maybe investigate some more ways to help you clear your personal energy field. Whew. I'm a little hot up in here. It's getting hot in here. Okay. So let me take a sip and, um, we'll get busy. Mm. All right. Tonight, since we're going to talk on sound, sound frequencies and vibrations are very, very powerful. And you can, there, you know, there's an entire field of sound therapy that I'm not even going to get into. I have several, several friends that, um, that are professionals in the field of sound therapy. And it's, it's vast and rich and deep, and you can dive off the deep end and study tons on that. So sound frequencies are very, very um, powerful and strong and can change the dynamics. So let me give you an example. Across like all cultures, there's always like the use of song of some sort in ceremonial aspects, you know, in churches, in um, other groups that meet, in various religious or celebratory factors that, you know, there, there's song is very prevalent and it can totally set the stage through the frequency that they're using with that of what they're doing. So that's, that's pretty powerful, right? You, you don't even think about this. So I want to enlighten you as to things that you're already doing and you're not even thinking about it. Um, seasonally, during this time of year, there's a lot of extra activities that usually involve seasonal music and that sets the tone and, and, and it can be very emotional for some people, but it does set a, you know, as like a celebratory, celebratory tone, or it could be somber. I mean, there's, it's vast and it's rich. So I just want to plant that seed for you. So sound can be used to clear your personal energy field with you through singing. I, for one, have always done that. You could do toning. Some people like to um, do, I can't even think of the names of the types of toning they do, but you know, some people chant. There's chanting of mantras. I particularly love the on vibration. Should have that. I should get a good sound up. Let's see if I can pull up something that I like while I'm talking. So sound does have a, a, like a lot of power to clear yourself through that frequency or in your space. One thing I like to do in my space is I like to, yes, uh, Nana's mentioned she loves binaural beats and I, I have got some of the, the MP3s that I create do use binaural beats. And that is a way personally that you can change within yourself your energy vibration and you can clear it. You really can clear energies. If you're feeling like, um, I hate to use the word negative, but maybe just an impressive and uh, oppressive type of energy or whatever within yourself or an emotional type response, singing, chanting, all of that is really, really good. Humming. I, I just am a big believer in all of that. I'm going to play a little, little thing. I recently even added in, and MP3 with my physical product, Spirit Miss Smokeless Munch, now comes with an MP3 because I'm such a big believer in this that I wanted to further help people um, add to their experience and clearing the energy in their space through sound. And I was going to see if I could, I would even play a little clip real quick before I go 
too much farther. I'll see if I can get it pulled up before I go to. Sometimes it pulls up quickly. Sometimes it does not. Oh, it's not going to pull up quickly for me tonight. Oh, maybe here we go. Let's see. Here we go. Just to give you a little idea of like a frequency of sounds that I like to use. Um, I did say the on vibration is something I play on loop. I love that. Use it myself. Here we go. this up a little louder. See if you can hear this. And I picked this particular song um, because I like the vibrational type music. It's very heavy vibrational. In fact, I'll just I'll tone it down a little bit while I continue to talk. So that is something. So so sound definitely can set the tone and clear the energy in a space. Some people like to use singing bowls. That's another sound frequency. Like I said, my friends that are in sound healing, gongs, uh, the crystal bowls, Tibetan bowls, all, all the singing bowls, beautiful chimes. That's another way. I've got some beautiful chimes that I use. Lots of ways. Then another door that you to open for you. This vast and rich is solfeggio tones. Another sound frequency that you can use. But it doesn't have to be something complex. And I think a lot of people get lost with this. Uh, when they want to use this because they think it has to be something complex something they have to research deeper and deeper into and they don't have the time and it can be simple i'm going to make it real easy for you find something that is uplifting to you that is upbeat for you that feels good to you doesn't matter for anybody else we're talking about you and if you resonate with that play it in your space listen to it play it in the space that you are in and it can help change you know uh even getting change the, the frequency and the dynamics of the space that you're in it's true it really really can happen in the studies from dr Emoto, he did all kinds of studies with water and how water responded to to written words and to sound and things like that water holds memory and we are made up from anywhere from I've heard from 70 to 85 percent water we're we are walking oceans is what we are and based on those experiments that I studied a few years ago you know that that tells us a lot about us and how we react and we can program ourselves when we have that power we have that power. So I want you to walk away from this little video tonight with a little bit of empowerment. Whew, I'm getting hot. It's getting hot in here. Um, of what you can do for clearing your personal energy field when it comes to use of sound. It, 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 it's not that hard. It's not that difficult. And when you, when you bring it into your awareness and you're conscious of it, then you can move forward with it and explore with it, play with it, see what works for you, see what resonates. You don't have to get all sciencey with it. You don't have to go as, you know, as far as like trying to find someone that does sound healing or anything. There's stuff you do for yourself. And that's pretty much what I wanted to plant a little seed tonight and let you open the door and run with it and see what, what works with you. So that is part three. Thank you so much for showing up. Nana, thank you so much for your comment. And you, and she, you talked about singing nonsense sounds versus making up your own stuff as you go along, which is beautiful. And I completely resonate with that. And I do that. I frequently sing to myself without words. So I really appreciate that you jumped in and left a comment. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So everyone have a great evening and, uh, you know, stay warm wherever you are. Don't get too overwhelmed with the holiday seasonal stuff, but I had to have a little bit of fun for tonight. So thank you for joining in, and I will be back with part four. Boop, tomorrow. See you later.
Bye.